people always try to lose weight by restricting their calories and controlling their portions and exercising more. So they're exercising more, eating less and starving themselves. That's like the exact opposite of what you should do. Okay. There are studies that have shown that you can boost up your metabolism at, by 16% if you eat the way I'm going to tell you. Okay. So they did studies and they showed that you can you can depict a fast metabolism by, by how fast you can burn glucose because that's basically, that's how fast you can clear out the glucose. And so what they did is they put some people on a low fat plant-based diet. Basically these people were eating plant-based and another group just like eating the standard American diet. They realized that these people who were eating a low fat plant-based diet, they had, they improved their insulin sensitivity. So they were clearing out the glucose out of their blood so much faster. And they actually boosted up their metabolism by 16%. So rule number one, if you're trying to lose weight, you want to eat more plants, right? You want to decrease the dietary fats, the saturated fat, the cholesterol, the animal fat, and you want to eat more plants. Okay, so that's rule number one. Rule number two, you have to eat more food that's fiber rich. So you're eating more volume, okay? So why is fiber so essential? Fiber, when it comes to satiety, you don't wanna walk around hungry when you're on a diet. Well, fiber has shown to increase two very critical hormones. One is called PYY and another one is called GLP-1. These two hormones get produced in your gut when you eat a high fiber diet. And by a negative inhibition, they sort of slow down the gastric emptying and they give you satiety. So that's the biggest secret. That way you can, you can eat more and still feel and feel satiety. And so it decreases your cravings. And so you're not going for the sugary stuff or the fatty desserts. Um, so another thing is if you think about uh, fiber, fiber is bulky and it carries a lot of water and volume. So if you think about the stomach, the stomach is a reservoir for food. And when you eat, you fill up this reservoir and, and, and at some point it's the stomach stretches and you fall satiety where you can't eat anymore. You could either eat a huge plate of food full of fiber, fruits, vegetables, nuts, these grains, or you could, for example, make a critical mistake. And I tell my patients this, this is the biggest critical mistake. Eat like cheese, things like dense condensed uh, calories. So you could either have a block of cheese this big, which if you think about the stomach is about this big, it will cover this much of the stomach, or you can eat a huge plate of food full of fiber. And what, guess what, fill up, right? And so after you eat a block of cheese, Besides the, all the bad stuff that happens to your gut and your health after eating that, you're leaving hungry. So that's another critical mistake. So eat more volumes because fiber is bulky. Another thing that's important, fiber-rich foods are full of micronutrients. And guess what? Antioxidants. Why do you think I look younger than I did uh, five years ago? I look actually, some say I look 20 years younger than I did when I was overweight. Well, studies show that fiber, because it's full of antioxidants, perhaps, what it does is it actually lengthens your telomeres. And by far, it's the most anti-aging tool we have out there. Nothing else comes close to eating a high fiber diet because it literally lengthens your telomeres. And this is proven fact, it's science, scientific fact uh, proven by Dr. Ornish and um, his team. So what you can get by eating all that fiber is antioxidants to fight cancer anti-aging benefits, vitamins, minerals, and all the antioxidants. Um, another thing is, uh, most important thing as a GI doctor, I guess I want to kind of uh, bring uh, awareness to this. When you eat a high fiber diet, you improve the gut microbiome balance. We know from studies, this is the most important thing. If you get nothing out of this, remember this. We know from studies that if you took thin mice and transplanted their feces 
i.e. microbiome, into obese mice, <laughs> okay? Giving them the same amount of food, both groups get the same amount of food, but you take the microbiome and the feces of the skinny mice and you put them in the obese mice, the obese mice starts losing weight, okay? That is so critical. We know now that it's not, not about how many calories you're eating, it's about what you're eating. So even if you were eating a lot of food, if you had the right gut microbiome balance,